Hi, this is my Black & Decker Workmate 400 that I've had for 27 years. I wanted to show you some accessories that I've made for it that make this a very important part of my current workshop. So a recent addition that I incorporated was this mobile base that I built for it. And uh, the Workmate has two sets of legs. The tall legs fold up underneath and that's the configuration that it's in right now. But it's the mobile base was made so that it's at the same height of the original Workmate, which is uh, 32 inches from the floor. I used double locking casters, which means when you lock the caster, it won't, uh, wheels won't rotate and they also won't swivel. And that when all four are locked this way, the Workmate is rock solid. So you wouldn't think that having casters would be that big of an improvement for this, but uh, I think it's huge. Before the casters, uh, the Workmate would tend to stay in one spot uh, because it was, uh, I didn't feel like dragging along the floor or, or lifting it. But now that it's on casters, it's easy. I can just put it out of the way or move it to the center of the shop. Uh, I just think this is a, a big improvement. Now one of the improvements that some of you may have seen on an earlier video of mine are these supports that I made for, uh, that I use mostly for assembling carcasses. The supports are padded to protect anything you're going to put on it. And you can imagine this chair is a carcass that you're gluing up and you need access to both sides for your clamps. And with it raised above the surface, it's easy for your clamps to get where they need to be um, put. So in storing this, I made these uh, slotted pieces of wood that rest on the metal framework. It allows me to just slide this in and now um, these are more secure and they won't, uh, they won't slide around up here. This next improvement is a replacement or an accessory top to the Workmate. I use one inch thick melamine and I think one inch is important because a three quarter inch is just not nearly as uh, stiff as this one inch material. I bolted on a section of two by four that gets clamped in the jaws of the Workmate. And this is the configuration that the Workmate's in the majority of the time, but it's very easy to take on and off as you just saw me do. This accessory top is nice and flat, which is great for uh, doing all kinds of assembly work on here. I can uh, glue anything on here and I don't have to worry about the glue, it easily comes off, so it's very easy to keep clean. And it's just a great general purpose uh, surface to work on. And finally, I just wanted to show you, I also use it to hold some of my bench top tools. So great all around surface, something well worth considering adding to your, your workmate. Now I do most hand planing operations on my primary bench, but I do use a workmate periodically for some hand planing. Let me show you how. I'm gonna make a simple planing stop with this quarter inch piece of uh, sheet good. You can really use any, anything. Cut 
couple clamps. And then another piece of uh, material. And I just need to clamp that on one side. So now say I'm I want to plane this. Put my wo my foot on the workmate uh, shelf, which even puts additional weight on, on it to keep it from moving. Now I can easily plane. Now, why do I want to do this? Again, I have my primary workbench, but that's 38 inches high, which works good for me. But sometimes when you're planning, you want to be able to really put your weight, lean over it sometimes. And um, this is at 32 inches thereabouts. So uh, it just makes it easier to do that. And as you can see, this works great. And um, I can easily work on wood that's two plus two to three feet, two to three feet long in this uh, configuration. And of course I can use, work on wider pieces or uh, even narrower pieces. Now let's see, I want to do some uh, cross cuts. Use some piece of wood. This will be my Stop. One clamp here. Just use, a, use any old board. Now we can do easy cross cuts. Very versatile. The final accessory I'd like to show you is called a bench bowl. That's B U L L. And this is one I made. When I first read about these, I thought immediately that I need to build one. It all it is is an accessory that you can uh, use on any workbench, so I use it on my workmate and also on my primary bench uh, to clamp your workpiece to in multitude of different ways. Uh, you can um, you can rip with it, you can cross cut with it, you can hand plane on it, you can chop on it, and um, I'll just show you a few of those operations to give it, give you a flavor for it, but it, it's it's really um, almost infinite possibilities. First thing I'll do is secure it to my bench. Put one clamp here and another clamp on the other end. So let's say I'm doing some work on, on a piece of wood such as this. This is just an extension of my workbench. So in this case it's a workmate, it could be my my main bench. And if your main bench is rock solid, then this just becomes an extension of that, that bench. And if I'm doing some chiseling work, I don't have to bend over at this height. It it puts it at a very comfortable height. And on my main bench, which is uh which is about uh, four to six inches taller than this, it places it even more comfortable to do detail uh, work, uh, like chopping dovetails, for instance, or paring dovetails. Very comfortable. Now let's say I want to do some planing on a piece of uh, wood such as this. I made a... a um, planing stop. Then I'll just um, secure with a clamp. And 
And now I can very comfortably plane small pieces of wood like this. And it's very comfortable at this height, you know, for small pieces. Now I was told you that you could cross cut with this. So you see these three uh, dog holes, just general purpose. And use them for whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to use a hold fast. And use this piece of wood you've been seeing me carry around. This won't budge. Now I can I can cross cut. at this height. And I can also use this in combination with my stop, bench stop. Now I have I'm constrained both this way and this way, so I can I can plane across easily too. Let me show you how you might be doing. You might do some dovetailing with this. So to clamp the board to the front, I'm going to use this Veritas clamp. So I'm going to do some dovetail work on this. Often you want your board to be vertical, so I can use my bench stop, which has a 90 degree face, to assure that it's that it's uh, 90 degrees, right like that. Now I'm good. I said you could rip. Well, say I want to uh, rip an edge off this board. Again, decide where I want to use a clamp. Let's see, right here looks good. I hope you enjoyed my tour of the Workmate and bench accessories. And uh, maybe there's a few ideas that you'll be able to use in your workshop. Thanks for stopping by.